Hey guys, my name is Jose Ocondo. Um, I'm a web designer in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and this video is hopefully the first in a series I'd like to do on uh, website headers. <laughs> it's called um, Hashtag Design Above the Fold, and it's inspired by this article. Um, by the way, if you don't know Nielsen Norman Group, this is an incredible resource for anybody out there doing design, uh, specifically for website design, but really design um, in any field. And uh, they've got incredible articles on how users actually use websites. And that information will impact the design decisions that you make and hopefully make the products that you end up launching more effective and beneficial for your clients. So um, this particular article is about uh, what places on a website a user actually pays the most attention. And uh, if I scroll down to the study results, you'll see right here that in their most recent study, users spend 57% of their page viewing time above the fold. In other words, uh, the header of your homepage. And 74% of the time in about two screenfuls. Um, so we've got an um, actual uh, pixel limit there. But um, that is really a challenge to us designers because um, it's, it's kind of like throwing on the gauntlet and saying, you need to use the header carefully. It's a precious piece of real estate where you can use it to effectively tell the story of your client and how your client, what they offer, their service or their product, how they can benefit the life of the user. Um, but it's also a challenge in that uh, we still can't treat our headers like um, Times Square, where it's just like full of CTAs and content and all kinds of stuff. Um, so uh, so this, this series is really about just kind of like challenging ourselves to um, keeping in mind this statistic, design headers that are effective and useful. So um, I started off by, uh, for this series, going to Unsplash and just kind of scrolling a little bit through the trending page. And I came across this photo by Bogdan Pasca. So, uh, Bogdan, thank you so much for uploading this. It's a beautiful photo. And it reminded me of um, Make Way for Ducklings. Um, that is uh, an old um, illustrated children's book. And um, the drawings in it are so beautiful. It's a stunning book. But it's about this um, duck family that makes its home in Public Garden in Boston. And so I thought, oh, man, I could use this image to create a header for Public Garden. I quickly looked it up, and this is the City of Boston website. Um, they've got a little image here, but anyways, it looks like Public Garden itself doesn't have a website of its own. It just has this page within the City of Boston um, website. And so it's kind of a great opportunity to give it its own um, kind of place on the internet. So reading this article and a little bit more information, I basically created uh, these notes. Um, oh, by the way, uh, um, I'd love to make this kind of like a community driven thing. Um, so if you're interested, not only in watching the video, but participating, um, create your own header. Uh, you can use the same photo or, or a different photo, whatever you want. Um, you don't have to use a photo if you don't want to, uh, but just create your own header, take about an hour and then upload it somewhere, whether it's Dribbble or Instagram or somewhere else, your website. And, uh, and then note it on Twitter and use the hashtag design above the fold. And uh, that way we can all kind of like check out each other's work and uh, just see how we all tackle this particular problem. But anyways, I made these notes. Um, so let me scroll in here or zoom in, I guess I should say. And uh, if you're gonna do this project, go ahead and take a screenshot here uh, so that you can read this as you design your own project. But essentially, um, after writing down some notes, uh, I came across basically like, these are the two things that I wanna accomplish with this website. I wanna feature uh, Public Garden's botanical mission, and I wanna encourage tourism to Public Garden. So I have some ideas here, how to accomplish that. And I think my takeaways down here are kind of like, this is what I want to do with the header. I want to have a bold headline and uh, specifically speak about the botanical mission there. Um, personally, me, I wanted to have a slider of um, just beautiful photography that would entice the user. And that's hopefully the tourism part. But um, I put no text because um, I wanted to figure out a way to incorporate the headline and all of that but not have an overlay over the entire slider that's going to be obscuring the images. 
I thought it'd be neat to have a video call to action, maybe like a head botanist or somebody like that is um, giving an interview or something like that. Um, I wanted to have the ability to plan a visit, become um, a friend, and uh, that's a um, kind of, I think it's a nonprofit group called uh, Friends of Public Garden in Common, um, where they kind of advocate for uh, those two um, uh, public parks. So anyways, without further ado, with this kind of armed with this info, let's get started um, designing. The first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and type out uh, public garden. Oops. Um, I went ahead and put their colors in here, so I'll switch that to black. Pull up my grid by hitting Control L on my Mac, and maybe just come one, two, three. Let's come down there. Um, that was left over from before. Sorry about that. And um, by the way, uh, to get the colors, I used this Chrome plugin. You know, I'm not quite sure what it's called actually. Um, what is this plugin? CSS Peeper. Um, so I just went to the colors and pulled a few colors from here. Um, I don't want it. I don't want the header to look exactly like this website, but I want it to feel like it's in the same family. Um, so we're using our black there, and then let's pull out um, a new text box and start writing out our nap link. So when is the map? You can download a map of the garden and the lagoon. And uh, um, one thing I'm going to do is look at the typography. So using Font Face Ninja, uh, see that they're using Montserrat for um, these big titles. Uh, they're using Laura for the copy, and they're using Laura for subheadlines. All right. So over here, um, I was looking at that earlier, and I think instead of using Montserrat, um, I want to use Laura. Um, so let's go ahead and make this uh, Laura. Um, and let's bring it down a little bit in size to so maybe like 21. And then um, instead of using Montserrat as our kind of like sans serif pairing, um, I thought I would use Gil Sands. It's a, a font that's a little bit, I, I feel like Montserrat and Laura kind of paired together. It's a little too contemporary and uh, Public Garden has this like Victorian heritage. So I felt like um, Gil Sands would kind of bring it back into a more like time appropriate thing. So we're gonna use Gil Sands. And uh, we'll bring this down to like, oops. Bring this down to like 15 or so. And um, then we'll bring out another text box. And I like to use this uh, sketch plugin called Anima um, to do auto layout. And so I can set like uh, spacing of 30 pixels. So if I just take this copy and duplicate by hitting Command V, it's gonna go ahead and lay out the nav links for me let me bring this over all right so um we'll have swan boat rides um i'm gonna leave emerald necklace out um i definitely want to have uh maybe we can have like um botany i don't know um friends of uh, the garden and plan a visit plan a Maybe plan your visit is better. Plan your visit. Um, maybe instead of botany, we'll keep it a little bit more simple and just call it plants. All right, so um, so we've got that there. And then on the right-hand side, I'm going to have information about uh, the city of Boston. So city of Boston. Um, it's mostly going to be Montserrat. Um, but this of is going to be Laura, and it's going to be, oops, italic. All right, city of Boston. And I want to do this thing where, um, let me show you guys an example. Uh, there's this company called River City Company in Chattanooga, and I've always admired this about, um, well, I don't like that this is pixelated, but I've always admired that they have this like little tab, and you hover over it, it kind of grows a little bit. If you click on it, it invites you to visit downtown Chattanooga, which is kind of like a website that they manage uh, to um, advocate for um, Chattanooga tourism. Um, so I thought it would be cool to do something similar where um, over here on the left, um, we've got the city of Boston. 
Um, let me uh, bring that down and then bring this up. Maybe add like 15 pixels or so. And then one, two, is that right? One, two, three. All right, and then bring this over and add 20 from the right hand side. All right, so essentially what I'm doing is it's kind of like this um, button in the uh, right hand side uh, that would open up like that, uh, um, a slider up here that invites you to visit the City of Boston website. So um, let's make this like maybe like three pixels. All right, so it's kind of the same idea where this bar is up here. And then let's make this, um, uh, why can't I see the color? Okay, here we go. I wanna make sure it's the city of Boston gray. And this feels like it's a little bit too big, so I'm wondering if we can push this up. Just one, one, and minus 10. All right, and then um, I'm gonna copy this, and I'm gonna have over here the emerald necklace. Um, it's, I don't I have no idea what that is, but I was reading up on it, and it sounds like um, the city of Boston, the emerald necklace is like a, a trail or uh, some sort of like walk or something, greenway, where it connects nine different parks throughout downtown. Um, so rather than have it over here where it, uh, that information is not necessarily about public garden and probably take you off site. I wanted to have it over here. So we're kind of saying like, okay, these are, these are off site uh, links. All right. So next is let's work on our slider and we're going to bring our duck image in and snap it to the edges there. Um, maybe come down like 20 pixels and then I'm going to bring it not all the way over, but just enough and uh, something like that. Okay. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is bring back the grid again. Um, I wanna have basically a white background square over here. And uh, where's white? All right. Um, so my text will kind of be over here, uh, slightly superimposed over the image. But what that lets me do is instead of having an overlay over the entire image um, so that the whole image was blacked out uh, or had you know 30% or 50% black, uh, the image is nice and clear. I feel like this needs to be just a bit bigger. Okay. And then for our headline, we're gonna use Laura again. And you know what, I should have made this um, the nav link style. So we'll kind of call this nav link dark. Okay. And bring this down here, bring it to the top. And um, I wrote a quick headline just using some of the copy from Control uh, L. Wasn't my grid coming up? Control L. There we go. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to increase the size of this until it kind of hits, um, maybe like that edge right there. Okay. I like that. Um, we might need to go just a little bit further with this. I really like that. And then I want to, um, let's go ahead and create our H1 dark left. And um, I want to go ahead and make this italicized. Like, that's a big deal. America's first botanical garden, or I guess public botanical garden. And then um, I'm going to have 60 pixels of padding. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and then uh, let's go ahead and add a paragraph or P1 tag. And uh, it's going to be Gil Sands. And we'll do, hey, we'll do something like 19. And I generally like to have 1.75 uh, line height. So 19 times 1.75. In other words, 175%. We'll make that 33 just to make it nice and round. And then um, just lower it 10 pixels. 
And then uh, let me copy this that I wrote. And something like that. Oops, I don't like that plants is, <laughs> there we go. Um, I didn't like that it was sitting over here by itself. Okay, and then um, to get my slider, I forgot I wanna add this at the top. Um, or maybe I don't, I don't know. Um, we'll add one, we'll make this a little bit bigger, so like 24. Oh, and let's go ahead and um, create a new text out and we'll call this P1 slash dark slash left. <laughs> Actually, I want to add one more category, um, P1 regular dark left. There we go. And uh, with this, um, let's see, just like one out of four. Okay. And uh, I'm going to use, I have a sketch um, plugin called Sketch Material. So you can just pull all the Google Material icons. Um, so I want to use uh, this chevron over here. I'm going to delete that. And let's just pull out the arrow and delete everything else. We'll make sure the arrow is our black. And, um, um, and then rotate this one. And then we'll use our auto layout thing again. Um, and uh, 15, let's try 20. What's 30 look like? Actually, I like 30. Um, and we'll call this uh, slider controls, slider controls, um, and just place it uh, one, two, three, four, something like that. Um, so let's try lowering this, adding 60 pixels of padding, and then bringing this down to the middle of the photo. And uh, yeah, I'm liking that. <laughs> All right. Um, by the way, uh, <laughs> another Nielsen article that I read um, recommended that you have no more than four slides in a slider. And uh, the more slides you add after that, the less likely users are to click through. Um, kind of like four is like the, um, they have a diminishing returns, if you will. Okay, um, with this, I'm just realizing that there's not a whole lot of, um, I think this is not middle of the line. There we go. Um, there's not a whole lot of distinction, so I might make this the red for public garden, something like that. And then down here, I want to have cards for our CTAs. Um, so I want to just bring out a, a rectangle. And uh, let's start with 150 pixels and see where that gets us. Um, so then pull this down like around here and then pull this up so it snaps to the middle of the slider and then essentially I want to have four rectangles it feels like it's not snapping there we go you know what I just noticed is a uh, I kind of want this to snap here so it's on the left hand side of that. Oops. Um, okay, and then I'm going to get rid of these. Um, oh, these aren't aligned to the bottom. Or are they? And is this aligned to the right? Okay, and then make sure it snaps. And then make sure that this snaps to those. Okay. Then I want this card to be our red. It's kind of like an orangey red, I think. Um, and then I want, um, I'm going to use uh, this here. Um, 
make sure it's snapped to the edge there. Get this to snap to the edge, send it to the back so I can delete this guy. And uh, now we have this kind of like cool uh, card system over here. And then I'm gonna use, um, I wanna write out something that kind of feels like, like a naturalist from like the 17th century or something um, to kind of have like a featured plant. So featured plant and let's use our black. Uh, whoops, one too many E's. Featured plant, let me check my time. Um, okay, and uh, we're gonna use Gil Sands for kind of like the eyebrow. And let me get this down to like 15. And uh, let's give it a little bit of character spacing since it's a little small. Uh, maybe even five. Featured pant. Featured plant. There we go. Um, maybe I'll just do 16 and 0.25. Okay, there we go. And one, two, three. Oops. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, so now we got um, 30 pixels of padding. And then let's bring down another text box. And this is going to be like the Latin name of the plant. And um, I didn't look one up. I just grabbed a random photo of uh, kind of green leaves of Unsplash. So um, you know, I'll just make one up. Mara Losa Geranium. I don't know. Um, just totally made that up. All right, and then it's going to be Laura. I want it all to be italic and maybe like 19. All right. Let's bring it down a tad. All right, I like that. And then let's do a link. Um, view profile or something like that. Um, so this is going to be our link. So let's create a um, text link, text, geez, Louise, text link, dark left. Okay. And uh, I'm going to use underline. I like using underlines for links. Um, it just makes it super clear. That's what it is. View profile. Um, let's make it all caps. We can reduce the size a little bit. Um, let's make it semi bold and have maybe even like one um, pixel of character spacing and then bring it down to the bottom and just have like two 20 pixels of padding uh, at the bottom there. All right. So now these two cards kind of like go with each other and this is kind of like a neat way to, um, I mean, who's going to actually click on that to view the plant? Um, but it's a way to emphasize uh, the garden's botanical mission. So it could just be a simple blog post. And then uh, over here on this side, we're going to do um, a video. So let's do 64 pixels. And instead of having a fill, we're going to use a red border. And then uh, we're going to go back to our sketch plugin and grab a uh, play arrow. Play arrow. Sweet. Get rid of that. And um, uh, tr tr let's grab the triangle, delete everything else, make this red and then snap it to the middle. And my experience has been, um, this is optical illusion, that even though it's exactly in the middle, it feels like it's weighted to the left a little bit. So maybe just like one or, or two pixels. There we go. Just one pixel moving moving it over. It's like those little things <laughs> that drive you crazy. Um, and then I wanna have uh, something that says like our, our history history and mission all right something like that and uh, we'll make this 19 actually let's make it um, p1 but we're gonna make it bold maybe that's too much semi bold 
All right, so create new textile, semi bold. Get rid of the two. And then right below it, I basically want to have um, use the Laura in four and a half minutes, something like that. But then bring this down to like 16. So. All right, yeah, something like that. And then snap it to the middle there. And uh, it's a little bit too much, one, two, three, four, five. So now it's 15 pixels from the edge of the play circle. And um, I don't really like this gap here. So I wonder if I could just, oh, and this is um, not snapped to the edge. Just do that, what that would look like. Um, let's bring it down 10 from the bottom and bring this down to the edge like that. All right, yeah, much better, I like that. Um, and I'm wondering if this should be at the top like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So just add one pixel. Um, make sure this snaps. All right. Okay, um, I think we might be done. So we did that, it's 109 in about uh, almost 30 minutes or 30 minutes exactly. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'd love to make this um, kind of like a community effort, uh, kind of involve as many people as possible. So if you enjoyed watching this video or just feel inspired by um, the article um, on, on Nielsen, uh, upload your own um, attempt at this header, kind of keeping in mind uh, this these points here, and tag it um, on Twitter with design above the fold. And uh, I just checked it, and there's only one tweet on there, so I think we can kind of commandeer that hashtag. And um, yeah, just uh, tweet that, and I'll, I'll keep my eyes on it, and I'd love to see what you guys come up with. And uh, yeah, looking forward to your posts. So. Thank you guys so much and see you in the next video.